Hello. This is the third video. In previous video, I explained many things about art. Today also, I will explain whatever I wrote here point that I am going to explain it. Know that. First point is know that. That already we discussed. Then also, uh, itching and drawing a line, it's called drawing. Explore or the color on the any surface, it's called painting. Engraving, trimming, carving, and casting that's called sculpture constructing using brick bricks and cement that is architect see architect also it's a part of art now our next point is then fundamental of making picture Fundamental of making picture, it's whatever we are drawing, it's a one dimensional drawing. So, one dimensional and two dimensional. We are drawing that's called one dimensional, but when we are using a thick and thin line. Sometimes drawing also it's a look three di uh, two dimensional, but whatever we are painting and giving the li tone, light and shade, it's a two dimensional. So fundamental of drawing and dimensional dimension when we are putting a dots dot it doesn't have dimension. And dots, we continue making dots, it's become a line. So line also, it doesn't have dimension. But we are using different, uh, for a drawing, we are using different color of line, different color of uh, dots, it uh, doesn't have dimension. But we are giving a light and shade, it's become dimension. So we have to know about dimension, two dimension, three dimension. Also we have to know it, which is called one dimension, only drawing. It's a one dimension. When we are giving a tone, light and shade, it's become two dimension. But three dimension, when we have an object, we can see its surrounding that it's called a three dimensional. Now our point is perspective. See, it's a good topic, perspective. Perspective, it is a eye level, on eye level above eye level, below eye level, that is the technical and practical topic is this perspective that we will learn by practical also. But you have, you should have some theoretical knowledge also, what is the perspective. Whatever things lying close to us, it's a look big. Same thing, it's a part to us. It look, looks small. Same uh, thing, thing is same, but it's a part to us. For example, railway track. See, when you are standing in center of the railway track, it's a coming close to you, it's a look broad. And it's a, you will see the far, it's look 
narrow and it look like a, somewhere it's touching but when you go ahead it will distance will be same only so perspective when you are drawing a perspective drawing you that is the technical subject you have to take care of vanishing point there is a one point perspective two point perspective and multiple point three point perspective also it's there and when your eyes is moving and your face is moving your point is create so uh, when you learn this practically you will understand how you have to draw its perspective there is the uh, cube and cuboid when you want to draw it you should understand perspective knowledge you should know perspective then you can draw it cube and cuboid it's a eye level below eye level low eye level that you have to see it there is cylinder form also will come in that also perspective will come so that you have to learn by practically next point is proportion it's a very good and and it's a very important element in a composition proportion see what is the proportion once you draw something for example still life you are drawing still life you have to see it how much you have to compose if you want to compose large then according to that you have to take in proportion all the object if you want to compose small according to that you have to take in proportion other object for example you draw a jar so in a jar beside that one object for example it's a cube so it's cube you have to compare with the jar how much small and how much big you are looking front of you that how much big jar and in comparison of that jar how much small and big you have to sit in proportion you have to draw the still life same thing it is the human being also when you are going to draw for example face you draw a face you draw entire face drawing in a proportion you have to draw eye in proportion you have to draw nose in proportion you have to draw lip eyebrow everything you have to draw in proportion if you drawn small face and if you will draw big eyes big nose small lip if that is it is not in proportion so it will not look proper same entire body if you want to draw it you draw first head in head in a proportion you have to do, draw entire body otherwise it's look a cartoon in cartoon you can uh, draw it in an un unproportional figure but when you are drawing going to draw and going to uh, learn good art you have to learn first proportion i am giving one more example for example you want to make a t so you have to see it ke how much you want to make it two cup three cup according to that you decide ke you want to make three cup uh, tea so according to that you have to take in proportion water in in a water proportion you have to take tea powder sugar milk everything you have to take it in proportion and then also after putting everything it's not become tea you have to give a heat also in a proportion otherwise all the tea will become burnt if you will give more heat if you will give less heat then also it's a te tasteless so like that proportion mm, you have to see it it's a very good element in art everything you have to see it in proportion
if you are not doing in proportion your art never look good aesthetically and art artistically so proportion is the main element in art now i as i explain in last a video color but here i will explain tone see you are drawing it and coloring there is the variation of uh, color for example you want red color but you have to see it which tone you require there you, if you will take pure red so if it is require pure red then it's okay otherwise you see it with tone you need in add white to make tint or if you want dark then add black or something else color and make it dark that's called shade so tint and shade that is the tone while adding white and black so each and every color we learn primary color secondary color tertiary color you have whatever color you got it but same color if you don't want you have, you want to see the tone then add white add black or dark color and make the tone that is the tone tone also it's a important element of art now now next texture texture also oh it's a main element see whatever materials for example i have one jar in plastic one jar in bronze one in glass one in uh, aluminum one is uh, wooden in that if you have a knowledge of textures then you you have a knowledge of light and shade you are giving the light and shade that is the main part of reflecting on material different different material light is coming and reflecting reflecting different uh, form of light but we require their textures also one more example i am going to give for example you want to make a trunk so particular trunk different different trunks are there but they have different textures so that textures you have to apply it and in composition also there is the rough texture smooth texture dotted texture lining textures many type of textures are coming this textures uh, you are composing abstract art at that time also you have to use the textures and you have to create your own textures to introduce yourself on your signature if you want to introduce so you have to create your own textures see this is as always i am saying is in every video you have a freedom but technically and methodologically you have to draw your own every time i i am going to say you draw your own compose your own and uh, your composition look like your own composition so textures also it's a, a big element of art it's a, has more important in art and uh, you have to make unique work well, if you are using the textures your work will become unique so textures it's a main element in art now composition see composition it's a, there is picture composition as i said this is also uh, in that sub elements it's coming what sub elements it's coming you have to take knowledge of color there is a balancing we require 
स्पेस वी रिक्वायर टोनल वैल्यू वी रिक्वायर टेक्सर्स वी रिक्वायर एंड इट्स शुड नॉट बिकम स्टफ ऑब्जेक्ट सो ईच एंड एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट यू नीड अ डिफरेंट कलर एंड इट्स अ रिक्वायर रिदम ऑल्सो यो योर पेंटिंग शुड लुक रिदमिकली इट शुड नॉट लुक स्टफ सो रिदम harmony it's required and variation of color then your picture composition it's become very very interesting and it's a balancing composition it should look your object or whatever you figure object you taken on the composition it should be balance rhythm so everything that is also uh, in picture composition it this elements it's required now see visibility visibility also whatever objects it's close to you you have to give the detail and gradually whatever things or object it's a far so it's a merge in background and uh, in between environment also it's coming and less detail it's coming and visibility look uh, well gradually less so visibility whatever you want to uh, focal the object i'm i'm giving one more example there when you are seeing a movie or a dance there is the focal character is there one character it's a different character for example in da dance hero and heroine they wear different costume and rest wear same costume because of there are many artists they are good then hero and heroine to act it to dance it but viewer can not see there and they can see the particular character so it's a uh, director want to show the focal the main character same thing it is in painting whatever you want to focal it you give the bright color details and give that important and rest you merge it with the background and give less important of color give less details so your composition will balance and it's a uh whoever want to see your composition it's a focal and what you want to say directly will and eye balance also it's required painting should not go unbalanced that is more important now expression see when you are going to do the portrait or particular human figure there is the expression smiling crying angry uh depression there is many expression it's uh, coming what type of you want to compose what is uh, your topic of composition what you want to give the message so that whatever you taken the human figure that expression should come if you want to draw only portrait at that time also you see the expression you catch the expression you explore it on the uh, in the drawing and after the drawing you have to take care while painting that expression should continue so this is the and ally alignment see many of uh, uh they are not drawing is good everything it's good but alignment is not proper it's going inside or a little bit slant figure or your object whatever you arrange that is the little bit uh, not proper so your work will look al al it's not look good it's alignmentless so alignment also it's required now see the art form art form it's a 
देर इज द ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट हैज अ लिमिटेशन इन टेक्निकली मेथडोलॉजी मटेरियलिस्ट दे हैव अ लिमिटेशन यू विल नॉट गेट द मोर सब्जेक्ट इट्स अ बेज ऑफ कल्चरल एंड रिलीजन बेज वर्क यू इट्स यू विल नॉट गेट न्यू थिंग्स सो इट्स हैज अ लिमिटेशन इन अ ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्म एंड इन लिमिटेशन यू हैव टू कंपोज द ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्म बट इन मॉडर्न आर्ट इट्स अ ड्रास्टिक चेंजिंग यू विल गेट द इन शोर्ट पीरियड यू विल गेट द न्यू थिंग्स डे बाय डे न्यू मीडिया न्यू क्रिएशन न्यू मटेरियल्स एवरीथिंग यू विल गेट इन मॉडर्न आर्ट न्यू सो दिस इज द न्यू टॉपिक वी कवर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू